Yolanda. Welcome to your Series 3 Swamp Fit Workout. This month is all about busting through plateaus or taking it up a notch. So we sent you a little gift in the mail. Hopefully you got it because we're going to use it for your workout today. You ready to get started? We're going to start with a warm-up, pointing your right toe forward and your left foot's just going to kind of follow and you're going to dip down and up. Nice dynamic movement. Reach your arms straight up over your head so you get those shoulders warmed up too. Dip down. Six, seven, eight, eight more. Sink into it. Two. Good posture at the top. Five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Down, up. Two, three, four. Reach it down, up. Six, seven, eight. We got eight more. Seven, six. Even challenging your balance already really early in the practice. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Take it into second position, nice and wide. Really get your hips open. You're going to reach your arms out in front of you, push your shoulders down, sink into a deep plie, pull your arms apart and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight more. Seven, really deep. And squeeze your inner thighs at the top. Three, two, and one. All right, back to facing the direction we started in. Right foot forward. You're gonna reach your arms out in front of you in an upward diagonal, and you're gonna tuck your knee toward your chest as you pull in. Use a lot of resistance, just create the resistance. Reach out, in. And if you want to make this more challenging, then change the incline into more of a warrior three balance and pull it in. So that's up to you. You can kind of mix it up. Do a little bit of each. We've got seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. You're going to turn around and do the same thing on the other side. Don't lock the knee. You can keep it a little bit soft. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now remember, you can add that challenge. You can add that challenge. <laughs> Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to take it to the floor. Come into a high plank. You're going to open up your hip on your left leg. Tuck it into PK. Extend and down. We're going to do all 16 on one side. We're going to do something else. And then we're going to come back to that. It's PK, out, and back. PK, and back. And one. We got eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Really point those toes. Two. And one. Awesome. Drop the knees down. Press the hips back and reach for your band. You're going to loop it around your hands. Stick your arm out in front of you. Keep your left arm as straight as you can. Make sure you've got a good amount of tension. You're going to pull it back and down. Two. Three. Four. We've taken the count a little slower so that you have time to pause in the back. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Go ahead and take that left arm forward. The right one comes back. Here we go. One, two, and you want to keep both arms flexed. Use the muscles from both arms. It's really important to keep the core contracted and pull your belly button in. Seven and eight. Last eight. Seven. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Blues the band as we step it back into a high plank. Extend those legs back, draw the belly in, open up, extend, in, and back. PK, out, in, back. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if you didn't feel it, then pay attention to it now. You should be feeling this in your obliques. Five, last four, three, two, last one. Awesome, and stretch it back into a child's pose. You should feel up in your lats and triceps too. Go ahead, curl the toes under, press the hips back. Coming into a downward facing dog. We're gonna extend our right leg up toward the sky. Pull the knee in toward our nose, shifting into a high plank, and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, really squeeze your glutes as you kick it back. Awesome, go ahead and step it out. Lock the hands to the back. Hang there to forward fold, lengthen through the hamstrings. And then you're gonna walk it right back out into your down dog. Same thing on the other side. Kick it back and in. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight. Squeeze your glutes. And scoop out your abs. Five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome. We're gonna walk it back one more time. This time we're hanging that forward fold and roll it up. We're going back to our band. We're gonna add a little rock and roll to the workout. So, you wanna loop the band around your hands so that when you stick your left hand up toward the sky, the band and the right arm kinda of rest right in front of your chest. Wide stance, and you're gonna kick back your tricep as you bring your foot into passe, bring it in, bring it down. Three, four, five, six, keep those abs tight, seven, eight, and eight. We've got seven more. Six, five, I hope you have your favorite jam playing in the background with this one. Maybe a little guitar riff for a solo. Three, two, last one. Awesome, we're gonna switch it right to the other side. The hands should already be in the correct position tension-wise, and here we go. Bring it in and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's stay standing. Let's keep the band too. Take it into second position, nice and wide. You want the band up over the head. Again, creating enough tension so that you can, so the band's already tight but you've still got room to pull it apart, okay? Belly in tight, press the rib cage forward. You're gonna sink down and pull it to your chest nice and deep and bring it up. Two, 
three, four, five, pull that belly toward your spine, seven, and eight. Last eight, seven, squeeze your glutes at the top, five, open up the hip stretch to the inner thighs, Correct, contract it at the top, and one. Awesome, pull it to the chest, sink down into the plie. We're gonna pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold the tension, pulse with the hips, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse with the back, three, four, five, six, it's burning, very nice, let's take it back to the floor. Okay, so we're taking it to the floor, and you're going to take your band and put it around through the arch of your foot. Just take a firm grip with your fists or loop it like kind of right in front of your thumb. And you're going to extend your legs straight back, squeezing the glutes, utilizing the hamstrings. You're going to bring your knee in and pull your belly in at the same time. Two, three, four. And I know your legs are strong, so you're going to want to make sure you create enough tension with the band. It'll get the job done. You just have to hold it in the right spot. Last eight, keep that belly in, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna switch sides. You can switch sides just by putting your foot through the loop and pulling your knee out of the way, and you're gonna extend it back and in. This kind of mimics a leg press, but it's way better than a leg press machine because you can get greater range of motion. You can lengthen through your hip flexors, really get that long line and get a much deeper contraction through your glutes. Especially that little smiley face underneath, smooth that out. And seven, six, five. We've got four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna flip over onto our backs. You can toss that band out of the way for a short time. Roll on back, let that belly fall back. Kind of tilt your tailbone up to flatten out the abs and press your palms firmly into the mat. Point the toe and extend your leg out in front of you. You're gonna lift your leg up as you raise your hips up. Bring it in and extend it down. Leg comes up, tuck the knee in, extend it down. Three, four, this gives you a chance to use your abs differently. Seven, eight, last eight, seven, six, five, and it makes you hold that at the top a little longer using your glutes more. Three, two, and one. Very nice, we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the other side. Straighten that leg, point the toe, lift it up as you raise the leg up, tuck it in, and out, up, out. The hips go down as you extend it out. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Last eight, really lift it up, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome, let's do one more, just in case I miscounted somewhere. If I err in my counting, I'll always err on the side of an extra one, okay? Pick that band back up, loop it around the hands. We can stay lying on the ground, but that doesn't mean we're taking it easy. Wrap the band so you want about this much tension, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Extend your legs out in front of you. Reach the arm over your head. You're gonna pull the band apart now so that you're flexing through the triceps and through your lats, through that back, nice lean back. And you're gonna bring the band over your toes and tap it toward the top of your foot as you lift your shoulder blades up and then extend it all the way out. Bring it in and out. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really tilt your tailbone up as you bring that chest toward your knees. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, now bring the legs up, bring the hands up. Still keep that tension in the band. We want to use our triceps and our lats the whole time. Pulse, two, three, four. Try to get the shoulder blades off the mat. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and roll down. Reach the arms up over the head. Lower the legs down slowly. Now, we're gonna keep those legs straight. If this bothers your lower back at all, you soften your knees um, or do whatever you need to do, like don't go quite as low to adjust the level of pressure through your back. But if you're feeling pretty good, you're gonna bring the legs up, down, two. Try to keep that spine pressing toward the mat. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Also lower down slowly. We're gonna really spread the arms apart. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, roll up. Coming into a nice tall seated position, you're going to take the feet out wide. We're going to loosen up the hamstrings, spine hinging forward as far as you can, and then bring the band right up over your head, kind of opening up the chest, shoulders back, overextending it just slightly. Forward, up, three. And if you're pulling that band apart wide enough, you'll still feel this through the triceps and the back. But really get those hamstrings loose. Here comes eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. And you can relax those arms and lose that band. We're going to swing around, bringing the legs behind us. You're going to come onto your forearms, just pressing those elbows into the mat, lift the chest up and stretch through the abdominal muscles. And now we're going to straight leg lift it up, down, up, down, two. And you want to keep the core active. Don't let it relax even though you're pressing into the mat. And you really want to lift up using the glutes, using the top. And eight. Last eight, we're going to do a double time. So belly in and flutter. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can kind of point your toes and use them to kind of help leveraging into the ground. Well, let's do two more. I think we're doing the next one. That's okay. Even better, right? Go ahead and press those palms into the mat. And we're going to lower us slowly into a high plank. And walk the hands back to meet the feet. Tuck the tailbone under. And roll up. We're back to our feet. Okay, we're back on our feet. Band in hand. We're going to get those outer thighs, step about hip width apart with the band so that there's already a little bit of tension with your feet right under your hips. And then firmly grip the band. You can loop it or you can just take a tight grip on it. Belly in tight, push your rib cage forward, shoulders back, good posture, and you're going to step side to side. And you're going to kind of make like a bit of a skater movement out of this. We're going Double the reps that we would normally do on this one to get a good firm because you're strong enough for it. Eight, six, 
four, three, two, one. Now, we're gonna add a little element to it as we continue with that side movement, and we're gonna hammer curl. Full range of motion, nice and big. This one takes a little bit longer to kick in, but once it does, man, it burns. Last eight, seven, six, five. You wanna keep it really tight the whole time. Don't lose that tension. See, I'm keeping my, I've got resistance all the time, even when I'm in that resting position. All right, okay, now, ready? While we're still fired up, you can stop with the curl, but we're gonna take it a little more uh, aerobic here, and you're gonna jump out in three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you don't have any obstacles you can trip over. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome, now we're gonna stand in place and we're just bicep curling. Okay, back to those biceps. They're still fired up too. Big full range of motion. Seven and eight, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you ready to really push it? Hold it up and keep it up. You can lift those elbows up now, but keep your biceps active and squat and squeeze. You're gonna sink your hips back, tuck your tailbone under. Four, you're a bunch of young fire by now. I know mine is. Seven, and eight, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome, lower it down and take that band out of the way. Just toss it to the side. So now, we're gonna take it into a second position. Pull the belly in. You're gonna hinge forward, stretch through the hamstrings. Then you're gonna lift up and tap the ground. It's a two-part movement. Forward, up, ground, up. Forward, up, ground, up. This dynamic movement's gonna help us loosen up all those muscles we just got really tight. You don't want to take it easy and just kind of sloppily go through it. You want to really hinge, pull your belly in, drop it down and up. Take it forward. This is going to help you loosen up at the end. Part of your final stretching. Good. Two. And one. Awesome, all right, so grab that band again. We're gonna do all that one more time, all right? Hip width apart, hold on to that band, and here we go, side, side, two. Keep that tension there, and keep those toes forward. It's a lot easier if you open up the hips and use those muscles. You wanna be keeping your hips square and your toes forward. You should be feeling that burn. Working on that shelf duty, too. You ready to take it back to biceps? Keep stepping, and when you're ready, if you're feeling coordinated enough, go ahead and take it up. 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 Keep up. Keep those biceps flex. Nice, long, and lean arms. Remember those other arm exercises I showed you that you could do with the band? You can always add that one on at the end if you've got anything left. Two, and one. Awesome, lose the arms. Here we go, we're gonna hop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, awesome, and just curl. Two, three, four, just surprising the body. Mixing things up, getting that extra set in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now keep it up there and squat. Two, three, four, nice and low. Five, six, elbows up high. The biceps are active. Two, three, four. Keep the belly pulled back to the spine, especially as you dip down. Really work that core. Squats are great.
great for your abs. You maybe didn't know that. And lower it down. And here we go. You can lose that band. Nice wide stance. Now you can turn those hips out if you want. And you're going to hinge forward. Bring it up. Down. And up. Forward. Down. Forward. Sink down like a frog. I have my frog pants on today. You can dress the part two if you want. Make sure you share a picture with me if you do. I'd love to see your workout look. But that's the beauty of doing this workout from the comfort of your home. Nobody has to see. You can wear the same thing every day if you want. You're looking good. Almost there. We got one more of these, and then you know it wouldn't be a swamp fit workout if I didn't give you that little added push at the end. So here's what we're gonna do. Are you ready for your swamp fit final challenge? Okay, you're gonna step into a high plank with just a single arm. You can modify this by using both arms, okay? But if you want to really, if you want to give it a shot, you're feeling ready, single arm goes down, a bend in the knees. You're not in like a full extended plank, just kind of a frog hop here. We're gonna hop forward, back, two, three, four, five, really tough those abs under, six, seven, and eight. Awesome, you're gonna switch arms, or if you're doing double arms, then go ahead and keep going with both arms. One, two, three. Another modification would be to step forward instead of hopping forward. You can always lift the hop. Three, two, and one. Awesome, both arms down. You're gonna lower those knees down, cross the ankles, Extend the legs out in front of you. That's fun, right? If you don't feel wiped out, go ahead and do it again. I won't stop you. You're gonna pull your belly in, raise your arms up high, and hinge forward. Walk the fingertips out in front of you and just stretch through the hamstrings. You guys are looking great. You're gonna walk those hands back. Bring the legs together. We're gonna to do that again in the middle. Keep in mind, you guys know how to reach out to me. You can always ask me questions on the blog or on our Facebook page. I hear great questions all the time. A lot of times they're sent to my private inbox, so I collect them so I can share them with you. We're gonna reach those arms up high. Keep the chest open and reach it to the side. I got a question from one of our great Strong Home Sexy members. Reach it up high and stretch it to the other side. Reach it up and fold forward again. Denise asked me, what's the best way to stretch the hips? And there are so many good ways to stretch your hips. If you have tight hips, you can definitely benefit from our yoga class, our swan yoga class, lots of great hip openers. But another thing you can do, and I'll show you right now while we're stretching out, is just open up the hips and pull the feet together in a bind. You can let your body be the guide with this one. You don't have to bring it in super far if you're not feeling that yet. Just kind of a relaxed position. You can even overlap the feet a little if you need to. But once you pull them into that, Seated position, you can either crisscross your hands or you can just kind of grip the feet. And you're going to hinge forward as much as your body will allow you to and press the elbows into those inner thighs. And you can let your body be the guide. If you've got someone at home or a friend over that can help add a little bit of gentle resistance, great. If not, you don't need it. You do it yourself. And then one of my favorite hip openers is pigeon pose in yoga. You'll extend your back leg behind you and you'll bring your ankle toward the opposite wrist. You don't want to force this. That leg's extended straight behind you. You can shove a towel underneath your hip to lift it up higher or a pillow 
Or if you're ready, you can just sink that hip down. Once you're squared off and in this position, you can keep it here until that feels a little more comfortable. And when you're ready, walk it forward and just relax. This is a great way to cool down, breathe, just enjoy that position. We've seen it in our Swan Yoga program. And you can definitely do that same thing on the other side. But in case you weren't sure what that was doing, it's definitely lengthening through the hip flexors and it's also opening up through the psoas area of the hips. Great hip opener all around. And if you want to take it one step further, you can always take that leg, swing it around, hug it into the chest, and you get the back of the hip too. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are feeling wonderful and have that nice, sexy glisten at the end of your workout.